Who the f allows you to wear flip flops to work? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go over to SIG and they'll make you wear steel toe flip flops. Everyone watching is familiar with Q, but no one thinks of Q as an AR-15 manufacturer. Q makes, of course, the bolt-action fix and the mini fix. They make suppressors and they make the infamous Honey Badger. The Honey Badger is perhaps their most well-known product and it's extremely expensive. That's me saying that. So several years ago, Q releases what they call the poor man's version of the Honey Badger called the Sugar Weasel. The Sugar Weasel uses more common and less expensive AR-15 parts versus the proprietary parts in the Honey Badger, but I don't think it garnered a lot of attention in the gun community because it was more or less seen as the Honey Badger we have at home. More recently, however, Q's remodeled the Sugar Weasel to not be a watered-down Honey Badger, but to be a premium AR-15 at a mid-range AR-15 price. And unlike the Honey Badger or previous versions of the Sugar Weasel, this newer variant of the Sugar Weasel is going to be a 16-inch .223 caliber rifle that accepts AR-15 parts and furniture. And this is what's going to make it so disruptive in the AR-15 market. I got to see the 16-inch full-size AR-15 style Sugar Weasel being assembled at Q's headquarters in New Hampshire, and I was blown away, not just with the quality of the parts and assembly, but with the sheer volume of guns they were turning out. Q's sales department told me that gun shops can rarely keep the 16-inch version of the Sugar Weasel in stock for more than a few weeks, and that they're selling every single one they can make. It's becoming one of their best sellers, if not not their best seller. Why is that? I'm a big fan of Bravo Company, Daniel Defense, and LMT for premium AR-15s, but they're all pretty similar. They've got some minor differences. Bravo Company makes a great AR-15 for about $1,500 with the bomb-proof MCMR rail system. Daniel Defense, they're going to be around the same price with their excellent lightweight MFR rails and their cold hammer forged barrels used by Spec Ops, not to mention the RIS-3 rail, which is incredible. LMT, Knights Armament, Geisley, they have numerous military and law enforcement contracts. They enjoy a reputation as making some of the best AR-15s in the world, but it's also not unusual to see those brands go for over $2,000 for a pretty run-of-the-mill AR-15. So here's where the Sugar Weasel kind of shakes things up. Street price on these guns is between $1,500 and $1,600, but the Sugar Weasel is anything but another AR-15. Yeah, it'll accept regular AR-15 parts, but it comes from the factory loaded to the gills with options that you have to pay for with all the other brands that I've mentioned. It comes with a premium trigger, which Q calls literally the best trigger ever made. Literally. Literally the best trigger ever made. Right. Um, totally designed, made in-house. So we have the fixturing. Uh, for it, we go ahead and build these up ahead of time too for production for the firearms that takes them the next week. What, what makes it literally the best trigger ever made? So in all these little things you can't feel, but how smooth the creep is, you don't find that in any other trigger system. So they'll cycle it, do it a few times, and these should overlay perfectly. Holy shit. Yeah. The thought and engineering and testing that went into it. Mm -hmm. So. What that means to you is you've got a, a two and a half pound two stage trigger with the, the most crisp break you'll find out of anything, the shortest reset available and it's actually drop safe. Uh, it will drop into any mil spec gun, mm -hmm. any mil spec gun mm -hmm. and operate correctly. You can engage the safety and the trigger works. It also comes with a full length M-Lock handguard, a stainless 1MOA barrel, premium controls like the charging handle and a 70 degree safety selector, tapered muzzle with a cherry bomb muzzle device for quick attachment of suppressors. Incredibly, it's gonna come with an adjustable gas block so you can tune your rifle for use with your suppressor. All this, and it weighs just six pounds, which is amazing. My man, can we pull a scale out and weigh something? I bet you can. Look at these, who the f allows you to wear flip flops to work? <laughs> Jesus, is this the uniform? Yeah, is this the official? Yeah, that's right. Look at this. It's the official Q uniform right here. Yeah. Uh, Go over to SIG and they'll make you wear steel toe flip flops. Um, can you weigh this gun for us, please? That thing's not nine pounds. What, do you know how to operate the scale? 
I thought this was going to be the easy part. What are you guys doing? There we go. We have to have a shipping meeting today. All right. 6.1. No, oh, no, let's remove that chamber flag, please. That's not that's, point that's, zero yeah. nine right there. Thank you, my man. Bam! Call that six. I'm rounding that down. <laughs> 6.09. And it's going to cost less than all the other Plain Jane Premium AR-15s out there on the market. You buy the Sugar Weasel, an Optic, a Sling, and a Silencer, you're simply done. There's nothing else you need to do. To be fair, Q does very little manufacturing in-house compared to some of the other manufacturers. So that's a sub-assembly that will go ahead when we have parts that, that uh, we manufacture come in from vendors, we QC them, they go into inventory, mm -hmm. and uh, a few of the guys here, it's their job to build up the sub-assemblies for production every week, so mm -hmm. for rifle production. Q's pride is not only in their engineering, but in their quality control. So they can design and manufacture components in-house, send those parts out, have vendors manufacture the parts for them, then they have this massive quality control lab back at headquarters at Q to make sure that the parts that they're getting back from their vendors meet spec and then they do a bang up job of assembling these rifles. I got to walk around the warehouse and see these guns get made with Q's founder, Kevin Brittingham. So come along with me, James Reeves, and see why I think the Sugar Weasel is going to seriously turn the AR-15 market inside out. This is our basic AR series, the Sugar Weasel, and a lot of the, the company was against my decision to do a basic gun, but I wanted something, a couple things that we could produce in volume. So there's some common parts with ARs, more than the Honey Badger. And then also at a price point that would be an entry level product for customers to queue. Now this is still an expensive gun, but nothing we ever do is gonna be cheap. Um, but you know the advantages, this gun with a 16 inch barrel is clear anodized, you get the radiant charging handle, which you know we designed the narrower one mm -hmm. and helped them to make this thing mill spec. Same thing with the selector, nine degree selector. Nine degree instead of 45 because, or 70, sorry, 70 degree instead of 45 uh, or 90 because 70 is, as, yeah, it's more organized, it's faster than 90, uh -huh. but it is the smallest angle you can do and it be safe by all the mill spec tolerances. So a 45 might be safe in your gun, but it might not be safe in another gun you right. have. So that's why I went with 70. It has literally the best trigger ever made in it. Um, it has adjustable gas block, the lightest one ever done. We don't pin the gas block. We use a gas block jam nut like Knight's Armin or Barrett, uh, tapered muzzled. So it's kind of cool that the muzzle device isn't on this yet. So you can see we use that taper. And what this taper does is gives you the best alignment possible and also, uh, you don't have to use shims or anything or rock set, it will never come loose. So it's slightly off a self-locking taper. So it requires, you install the muzzle device, it requires 20% more torque to remove it than it does to install it. So that's a great thing. So just the thought that went into this, like I said, all clear anodized, comes with a mag full stock. Um, Why was there opposition to it? You said whenever you wanted to do this, there were people that said, no, that's a bad idea, Kevin. It was just too basic that it would damage our brand. I mean, it was kind of a thought at the beginning. And yeah, I mean, they, they had a good point. A lot of the guys had a good point. You know, on this, we're putting M-Lock on it right now. Probably uh, over the next year, there'll be a different version or it'll start coming with a Q-Cert handguard. But you know, it's like, we're not a basic company. But the idea is then it's my job to explain to people, it's an AR but it has all of these advantages. And so it's a great value. And it's not just a basic gun. You get, you know, when you start getting our two piece carrier, you get our trigger, you get our adjustable gas block, you get our muzzle taper, and you get something that is incredibly lightweight for the size. Talk to me about the barrel. So, you know, we decided, it's interesting. People ask me, okay, why don't you use hammer forged barrels? Hammer forged, you're generally gonna get better durability out of. Right. But for me, I want, the best reasonable accuracy that we can make. You know, it's always like you have to make this decision. Do I want the greatest durability or do I want the best dispersion, best accuracy? And it's a toss up. And for me with the Honey Badger, like mm -hmm. the military program is we want the best dispersion possible with subsonic. So our best opportunity is to use a stainless barrel, you know, whether it's a, a 
cut or button, we've gotten great results from that, but we get better accuracy with those than we have traditionally with hammer forged. And that's what I was gonna ask because this is the point right now in the video where people say, no, that's an excuse for cost cutting. What would your response be? No, I can get hammer forged barrels as the same price I can get these. Okay, so, so it's, it's not, a, not a cost cutting no. issue at all. Same no. price. And you... uh, one thing, which I think you'll probably see some hammer forged barrels from us and some guns, but most people do a hammer forge and they cut the chamber. And so a lot of times the accuracy and stuff will depend on the concentricity of the chamber to the rifling. But when you do uh, hammer forging, you can do the rifle and chamber at one time right. with one mandrel. That's the way to do hammer forging. And there's an argument for that. Ah, I, I, I know a company that does that. Yeah, so there are several. And there's some that do it well and some that don't. But you know, like um, the last time I knew some of the companies here in America that have hammer forging, they all cut the chambers after the fact. Right. And it's it's like such a waste. You can do yep. it. The yep. mandrel's more expensive and you have to have more of them for the different chambers. But it's but just it's way better. Way to it's do the it. right way to do it. Now, some people say, oh, my hammer forged gun, it shoots, you know, half MOA. And you probably do. But get a hundred of them. And uh -huh. then average those groups and average the groups of, you know, a this stainless match barrel. What kind of accuracy do I expect out of this barrel? With, with good with, ammo, with match yeah, ammo, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I just say all of our guns are under one MOA, mm -hmm. and, and the reality is most of them are half of that. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're producing thousands of guns. Me with this gun, I can shoot three quarter MOA with match ammo. There are people that can shoot it better than me. Off the top of your head, what optic would you recommend? If somebody said, you know what, man, I'm sold. I want a sugar weasel. What do I put on it? The six. If you get a 16 inch, I assume you're going to shoot far you know, or potentially shoot far. So I love like the Voodoo 1 to 10. Um, I like that new Leupold 2 to 10 Mark V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's cool. a lot of great scopes on the yeah. market. You know, the 1 to 6, the 1 to 8, the 1 to 10 is good quality with a reticle that you like. And if you're shooting 100 yards, you, use a use a dot. Use an EOTech holographic sight, use a dot. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, six pounds. Six, six pound gun. That is, that is pretty six good. Nine. I mean, for full length hand guard, that's pretty good. Adjustable gas yeah, yeah. block. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that probably weighs less than a 6920 with plastic furniture. What's a 6920? A Colt? Yeah, the M4. Oh. I mean, 16 inch version, civilian version of the M4. No, I would, I would say, I don't know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have a gun 16 inch AR over six pounds. Mm. So. Would you ever think about shortening the handguard? Just save weight? Yeah, you know, I actually like the shorter handguard, but. I got outvoted by the young people and yeah, sure. sales and oh, marketing and yeah, the Williams. Because yeah. in the video games, you got to have a long handguard. And it, it looks cooler. Yeah. You know? so, oh, we so, should have yeah. done that. If, yeah. If we have like the Honey Badger SD length handguard on here that's four inches shorter, five and three quarter pounds. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so once the guns are QC'd, test fired, um, everything works out in test fire, no adjustments need to be made, they come here. They're cleaned, another final visual inspection, and then they're put in a box and shipped. So what did you guys think? Is this gonna be a game changer or is it just another AR to you? I've only gotten to shoot a few magazines through the Sugar Weasel, but I was very impressed with what I saw. Obviously, I'm gonna request one for T&E and we'll see how it runs. But in the meantime, until the TFBTV review comes out, the Sugar Weasel is looking pretty sweet. Guys, thanks as usual for watching. If you enjoy this content, we did not accept money from Q to make this video. We don't accept money for positive endorsements of product. We rely on you. We are viewer supported. Please think about supporting us. Subscribe Star or Utreon or Patreon, whatever the case may be. But if you're on Subscribe Star or Utreon at the $5 level or higher, you're automatically entered to win one of $1,900 in gift certificates that we give away. That six $250 gift certificates to Top Gun Supply, your online shooting sports superstore, and four gift certificates for $100 each to Blue Alpha, makers of the best gun belt that money can buy. But we just appreciate the fact that you're watching. Take care.